morning YouTube and welcome to another vlog. Now it's quite early, it's about seven o'clock now and we're about quarter an hour before sunrise. Um, and I'm at this epic location. Now I'm actually in France at the moment. This is gonna be a one-off vlog. I haven't got time to do any more here. I'm on a kind of short, long weekend break away. And I'm actually in Brittany and I've come uh, to look at this really awesome lighthouse, which you would have seen already from the B-roll and obviously the, the title from the video. Really, really cool lighthouse. I've seen pictures of it in the past and it's something where I've always wanted to go to. So far, just from this cliff, it looks like this place is littered with lighthouses. Uh, we have the obvious one here. Now it's just started to rain. I've got a few shots off already. Annoyingly, it's raining, which means it's gonna be tricky to do uh, graduated filters. Um, and I was really liking the effect I was getting with them. So I might have to adjust my shooting a bit. I've got the camera tucked down at the moment, out the way uh, with my um, filter cover on there, just to try and uh, stop the rain from getting on it. But it's not gonna be easy while it's raining, unfortunately. This is the lighthouse. It's still kind of firing off and it's nice that it's a proper old fashioned revolving one still. You can't really see the light sweeping from down here but on the way to it this morning you can see it from uh, probably about five miles away to be honest sweeping through the sky so really cool we do have a static light one over there by the looks of it which you can probably see flashing away just around my finger somewhere and there is also another lighthouse just around this way uh, but it seems to be more of a permanent light that one and not so much of a, a kind of flashing or sweeping one um, now the scene, we've got this really, really epic lighthouse. It's called Camorvan Point. It's probably one of the few places in France I can pronounce. And you've got this really cool walkway that comes all the way from the lighthouse, all the way past where I am, along these rocks and along the coast. So you can get these really epic shots shooting down this line and kind of shooting up to the lighthouse. Uh, at the moment, we did have really nice uh, sunrise behind us, really nice breaks in the clouds and really strong colours coming through. Um, and you can probably see, if I re-expose you, you can probably see a bit of that up in this portion. Um, but we're not getting too much light at the moment behind the lighthouse. But I'm not too fussed about that because we've got some really nice clouds. There's a lot of definition in them. And we've also got these really nice patterns on the, the beach, sorry, in the, the sea here from the, uh, the water breaking on the, the rocks. Now, doing a long exposure, they, those images are coming out absolutely perfectly. I'm really happy with how they're coming out. Really, really nice place, really nice composition I've got here with a bit of the rocks in the foreground. There's even uh, quite a bit of wildflowers down here now, uh, which I'll just pan down and show you down here. I might try and make use of that if I can get the camera low enough to uh, get a composition involving them. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure how well that'll work at the moment. But yeah, cool place. So shooting wise, I've got the 16 to 35 mil on. You do need a really wide uh, lens for here. I'm shooting almost um, as wide as that'll go. Um, probably around about 18 mil or something like that. You probably could just about get away with a 24 mil here, but you probably want to be bringing something a bit wider. Um, incorporating this sweeping line, as, you can, as I was saying earlier. Now I'm shooting with a soft grad on. It is gonna darken the top of that lighthouse quite a bit, but I really want to get this um, uh, definition in these clouds in the picture and I don't want to do HDRs. I want to try and get it in a single frame. So I'm going to have to do a bit of post on that lighthouse just to lighten it, probably with a bit of dodging or something like that. Uh, I'm having a bad hair day and I forgot my hat, uh, which probably wouldn't have made much difference because it would have been blown off, I would have thought. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me shooting. I'm shooting at ISO of 100 and at the light I was shooting at earlier, I was getting a 30 second exposure by shooting at an, an F-stop of about F14. So I'm not having to go too extreme. Um, I have got a polarizer on there. Now the polarizer is removing the reflection off the sea, which to be fair, I do quite like because it makes it look softer and gives it more pastel colors. And what it does is it gives the lighthouse more separation from the sea. The problem is, is the light on the lighthouse that's actually catching the lighthouse looks a lot, lot nicer 
um, with the polarizer on. It cuts out all that glare and makes it look really natural. And it also does a lot for these, um, uh, this walkway along here, simply because it's raining, it's wet, and there's a lot of reflection from that. So it's making quite a big difference, that polarizer filter. Now, the rain's getting worse. I'm gonna put you down, continue shooting some images here. Um, try a few different compositions. I'm not gonna be able to vlog very well anymore, unfortunately, just because everything's getting wet. I wanna get some shots in the bag, capture a bit of this uh, color in the cloud before they disappear. Um, and I won't be able to do that with everything together without kind of the camera getting wet and stuff like that. I'll catch up with you afterwards, um, give my final thoughts on it. But so far, awesome location, highly recommend it. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. I'm back in the van now and the location is all shot. Uh, absolutely amazing place. There's so many compositions there. There's a really nice kind of uh, stone bridge there as well that goes over to it. And there's some really nice cliff um, formations and rocks either side that you can go and get some cool shots of that bridge as well. Unfortunately, it started raining quite heavily after uh, you saw me, hence the, the uh, bad hair and I didn't really manage to get around then and do any of those shots just because one, uh, it would be quite slippery and I didn't want to fall over and injure myself. Secondly, I didn't really have the time. Um, I've got to get back to the hotel. I've got breakfast waiting for me and if I'm late, I'll be in big trouble. So I can't be much longer, but just to say it's an absolutely amazing place. I definitely want to get back to Brittany and also do Normandy and bits of it and I'm trying to work out whether I can do that this year in the van. Not 100% sure yet, but I'd love to get back here. Like I say, so many different places you can shoot that lighthouse. It's such a photogenic, uh, beautiful structure, just where it lies as well, that, that kind of walkway down to it and the, the coast behind it. Now, although it did rain, it, we did get a really cool thing afterwards. It was difficult to photograph, but just to stand there and watch it was really awe-inspiring. We had a really nice double rainbow appear with the colors of the sunset uh, or the sunrise sorry going on behind it unfortunately the bow was a bit too wide a bit too high to get properly in the photo and i also couldn't get any filters on there because it was raining so much so i couldn't actually bring the sky down enough for it to come out amazingly but i think a bit of post work it might make a really cool unique image that one i don't think it's going to beat the images from the blue hour uh, slightly before when you saw me talking to you but i think it's going to give it a bit more of a dimension come out really nicely and um just kind of cap off what was a really nice spectacle and a really cool interesting thing to see if even if i wasn't photographing this location it's somewhere i'd 100 percent like to visit it's a really really cool building and structure and highly recommend it um like i say i've got to shoot i've now got to make tracks thanks for watching this one uh the next vlog will probably be back in the uk and um hope you liked it if you have please give it a thumbs up and uh, drop any comments in the box as usual and uh if you fancy subscribing to the channel uh please do just to say a quick thank you we did make a thousand subscribers about two weeks ago i do have a vlog um that i probably need to start working on to to get out for that to say thank you um hopefully it'll be coming up shortly after this one and um yeah i'll catch up with you on the next vlog in the future Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Ships are filling up fast, are you ready for ease? Mm -hmm. Forget bad memories and leave those hurt behind Birds are filling up the sky Are you willing to try? Why? Sing along as they hum and be fulfilled oh. Many more will come